Okay, so today we're here um, at Boca High and we're going to talk with one of the groups about one of their projects that they did. Uh, this is Mike. Mike, could you tell us a little bit about your project? Okay, uh, we built a catapult based on Da Vinci's designs. Now, Da Vinci was a very well-known well -known builder and he was born in Vinci, raised in Florence actually, and he was he was born with his mother after his father left as very poor and he went to school in Florence with his dad's money so he was actually a very lucky man and he went to a very good school and built up his career based on architecture and building and ideas on, on things that were well ahead of his time and he built up to become a master from almost nothing and he came up with the modern scissors, he came up with a lot of things that weren't built, hydro, uh, hydro-powered machines, all this stuff that was far ahead of his time. Okay, and so um, what is this that you're going to talk about? Do you have one of your other members of your team is going to talk about this design? or uh, Connor specifically is going to come talk about the catapult. About the Da Vinci catapult. Okay, so let's uh, get Connor up on the set. Thank you, Mike. Let's uh, get... Now, with our design, we were trying to keep true to what Da Vinci originally planned, but due to uh, limitations in materials, he used wood and rope, we used plastic. Uh, we couldn't make all of that come true. So we just tried to make it as true as we could while trying to improve some little things that weren't available in Da Vinci's time because we had motors, we have robotics, which Da Vinci didn't have. And Marcus will tell you about Da Vinci's design later. Okay, so you want to tell us about the catapult? Why, why did Da Vinci have a catapult? What was the history behind some of this? Well, Da Vinci's time in Italy, there were a lot of warring societies, a lot of tiny states going to battle over territory, land, stuff like that. And Da Vinci profited from that because he was an inventor and people are always looking out for new and inventive ways to battle. And so Da Vinci took the old catapult designs and improved them drastically through new concepts that he had in physics and stuff like that. And so he built this for an Italian duke to help, I think it was the Duke of Florence, uh, for a battle. But the duke never used his ideas because they were too, you know, out there for the time. He was a very, very modern thinker, as opposed to most of the guys in his day. Okay, now, um, are you going to talk about this design here or yeah. how it was built? Yeah. Okay, uh, so you want to explain um, this catapult, how it works? Right. We used a simple setup here. We just have a motor turning a gear, turning a gear, turning a gear, turning this main item here. If you simply goes up and down. Okay. Snatch a little. Um, and then we added this later to touch sensor so we can fire it when we want to fire it. Okay. So that was a little innovation beyond uh, Da Vinci. So how does this uh, touch sensor work? Well, when you touch here, it completes a circuit, sending a signal to the main robot body here, which sends another signal to the uh, motor here, which turns these gears. Okay. Very basic. All right. You, you want to give it a shot? All right. Let's launch something fun. Okay, what are you launching? Uh, just a simple javelin style projectile. We made it, we found out it worked probably the best. We named it in this And how, do you, how can you aim it? Uh, we have this little sight here. It's a tiny little two slots and... Perfect. Nice job. Right. Um, did we have Marcus who's coming to join us to explain something else? Uh, yes, he's going to talk about how Da Vinci's original design was and how widely different ours is. and how he did what he did. All right, so we had Very we had Da Vinci's modern. original catapult design, and now we have um, your design. So what's different about your design? Well, our design uh, is obviously a robot and not wood, but uh, the design that we did, it was more based on the gears than Da Vinci's design, which used uh, wood to turn, the, to turn the arm and launch the uh, projectile. Okay, 
So you you changed the, you changed the original design by adding the gear ratios. Yeah. What? How did you decide what gears to put in here and, and what ratio and and how far? Like I noticed that this stops at a certain point. Why? Well, originally when we were uh, doing the when we were trying to make the catapult, uh, we used a really low gear ratio that would make it turn with a lot of torque, but with little speed, and that didn't really make the projectile go very far. So we took it to a one-to-one -one gear ratio, so it spins as fast as the motor is spinning. And that's about as much as you can get. If you go any higher than that, it doesn't have enough torque to actually move the arm and launch anything. Okay. The arm just kind of jams. And what about the programming? How did you run the programming? It's a very simple program that just loops through and continues waiting for a touch on the touch center. On the touch sensor. And how does it know how far to go? Uh, it basically just goes up until it's about 45 degrees and we have parts up here to prevent it from going too far. Okay, could you run it one more time? Yeah. Okay, so how does it, know, how, how does it stop? It, if you put this up here, and it, how does it... <laughs> that's what we, pro we programmed it to go about 45 degrees up. Okay. And it also has these parts over here that prevent it from going too far up. And then it automatically goes down to reset? Yes. Very good. Okay. Anything else you want to add about DaVinci or the catapult? Um, uh, no, not really. Okay. Tell us about the...